Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to RGH Tech TV and today I'll show you how to add customizations on Moto G third generation. So it's uh, it comes with the stock Android experience and some people out there do not like it. They want more customizations, more gestures, uh, they want more theme support and uh, which we can do uh, in the uh, Moto G third generation and I'll show you how to do that. For example, let's see the demo and later on I'll show you how to do and uh, where can you get all these in, all these information right so uh, you can swipe in anywhere uh, even in in from the between of the screen and you can get to the notification tray right this is a cool trick and uh, swipe up and you can get google now which is a very good thing now you can double tap to launch camera application directly from uh, whatever screen you are in right and uh, you can ha have these widgets here like a small flash widget by which you can turn the uh, flashlight on on or off you can toggle between them which is a good thing and later on uh, you have a search bar if you see here so if you uh, uh, you can search anything here it'll search the phone it'll search the web and it'll also search the contacts which is a good thing so think uh, let's search something like uh, if you type in R, then you'll get all these you know, uh, uh, applications and contacts, and you can search for web also. I think I'm searching for some game which is installed on my uh, phone. Then I can search for Frontline Commando, and as you can see, it'll just filter out and sort out the content for you, which is a good thing. Now let's go to application tray. And in the stock launcher, we couldn't do much with application tray. Uh, now here you can sort the applications. Uh, from A to Z and uh, we can also see as you can see it's it's been uh, sorted from A to Z and we can have uh, the list view if you don't want the grid view and it will be sorted from A to Z which is a quite good thing right so it's easier to find the applications than before and uh, you also have a search here search bar here so you can search for the applications which is a good thing uh, you have a dock here through which you can uh, add effects to uh, the home screens. So I have added the cube effect. You can add uh, uh, the uh, slide effect or the card effect, right? Whichever you feel necessary. You can also add some filters. So I have added this uh, Lomo filter, which will actually uh, give the black effect uh, on the edges, as you can see, which will give you give it a good look. Actually, you can add this light uh, effect or light filter, right? Which is a good thing. And later on, let's go to transparency. You can increase the transparency of the uh, applications on the home screen, as you can see. Now, the thing is, how do we get these gestures? How do you? How do we get these new functionalities? Uh, you have a launcher called as Atom Launcher, which you can download for free from Play Store. So, which will add these new functionalities and gestures. This launcher is pretty bare bones actually uh, when you first see it but you can change the icons you can change the wallpaper you can change themes and you can do much more things uh, which uh, which is really hard to believe so uh, i'll just show you some shortcuts some of the tips uh, which you can do with this launcher so press and hold and uh, we have the theme settings here as you can see so we can switch between themes so example if you want to go for this theme then you can change the icon packs here and uh, so see, I have installed around two to three themes and all the icon packs of those themes are available here. So if I want with default uh, default icon themes, uh, icon packs, I can go with that or with this one or with this one or with this one. So let's go with black mechanical and let's try and apply this theme over here. And uh, once you hit the home button, as you can see, the wallpaper changes and all the icons changes and it gives you some very good look like uh, uh, like the Iron Man theme, right? You also have separate Iron Man theme and you have uh, many more themes supported here. So you can check it out if you're interested. And uh, now next off, let's see, uh, you have something called as uh, uh, launcher settings. Go to this and now the important thing is gestures. So you can go to gestures and uh, I have kept double tap to open camera and uh, I have ta uh, kept swipe, uh, swipe up on the screen to get the Google now and I have swept, I have kept swipe down uh, on the screen to get uh, notifications. So you can also uh, get the new gesture like a two finger swipe or a two finger double tap. And uh, you have many more things which you can try out, which is a good thing. And uh, we can customize the home screen. We can customize the application tray. We can customize the dock and much more settings which are available here. 
so go go through this and explore and if you feel like i should make a separate video on this please let me know in the comment section and uh, i'll be happy to make a video on that one now you might ask like how i added this flash uh, uh, icon here which we can toggle between so for that you can go to uh, uh, atom action right and see as you can see you have many settings here by which you can choose like uh, i'll add this show not notifications toggle here so you click and it will be added so if you click on this you'll get the you'll get to the notification tray directly which is a good thing now another good thing with this launcher is you can get some gestures and functionalities from the nova launcher uh, which is a good thing now see uh, swiping down i can go to notifications but with uh, nova launcher you can directly go to a uh, quick toggles that is this screen so i'll show you how to do how to get this uh, on this uh, the launcher itself so firstly you have to install nova launcher and uh, uh, let's go to launcher settings and uh, let's go to gestures now i have kept swipe down to uh show the notifications now what you can do is you can click on this and you can go to uh, shortcuts so once you have installed a uh, nova launcher you'll get something called as nova action uh, so click on this and through this what we can do is we can directly go to uh, we can check this option here expand quick settings and with that what we can do is and now you can swipe anywhere on the screen and you can go directly to quick toggles as you can see so which is a very handy thing and i believe that this will improve your user experience on uh, uh, moto g third generation so now let's move on to other tips and tricks so before that i'll change this launcher let's go to home so this uh, icon here will not appear until you install a launcher so i have installed couple of launchers here as you can see you can try out these also they are also very good so now uh, let's shift to uh, google now launcher so so now let's see some other tips here uh, so firstly let's see uh, some security features so let's go to settings let's put this settings on to this page let's go to settings and uh, let's go to uh, security in security you have something called as a smart lock so through this what you can do is you can uh, unlock uh, the phone uh, with the trusted devices like uh, uh, a bluetooth watch or bluetooth uh, car system or nfc sticker which is quite useful and very handy and uh, you can also unlock this phone by using the trusted places right uh, it means it will not lock uh, your phone uh, when you are at this place or you can also unlock this by using face but uh, this is trusted face is not that secure as pin or password right you you can also unlock your phone by using trusted voice and we have on body detection by which you can unlock uh, uh, while it's uh, in your hand or in your pocket right so which is a good thing now apart from this we have something called as screen pinning so let's turn on this and i'll show you the demo of this now think that you have given your phone to your friend and you don't want him to uh, move out of this browser right so what you can do is first you should open the application and uh, bring it to this multitasking tray and from here you can pin the screen so as you can see uh, once the screen is pinned he cannot go back or home or he cannot perform any activities except on uh, except on the option of being in the browser itself now to get back to normal mode what you can do is you can press and hold the back button and the overview button the multitasking button at the same time so as you can see the screen is unpinned and next off let's see some of the keyboard shortcuts here but before that i'll show you how to change the default messaging application to hangouts so for that let's go to settings we will go to uh, more settings and in here you have something called as default sms application so click on this and you can change your default messaging application to hangouts right so for the time being let's keep it to messaging now to turn the mobile data on on this device we have to perform some extra steps which was not present earlier so they, there has been one step which has been added uh, now so uh, the thing is we'll have to go to notification tree we'll have to go to quick toggles click on uh, this icon and then go to mobile data and then turn on the mobile data so what if we can directly go to this screen uh, without doing that circus uh, so by just tapping one icon so i'll show you how to get that so what you have to do is uh, we'll add some widget here we we'll go to widgets and uh, as you can see we have this widget called a setting shortcut so let's put this onto the home page right and now uh, let's select what we want now right we want data usage right so let's click this and it's done now click this data usage icon 
and another click will uh, take you to this screen where you can turn the mobile data on which is just a two step process which is a very good thing so now let's see how to get the slow motion videos by default this uh, phone can record via slow motion videos at 720p hd but the good thing is now with the gallery application the inbuilt gallery application you can convert the normal videos also into slow motion for that what you have to do is you have to select uh, the video which you want to uh, make it in slow motion uh, select the video and uh, you have uh, the extendable menu button at the right top corner click on that and you have slow motion edit so once you hit this up this uh, option so you can choose which part of the video can be in slow motion and if you want to want it to be complete in slow motion then you can select complete video into slow motion so as you can see or else you can only select a part which you want it to be in slow motion which is a very handy and very good feature now let's see the opposite of slow motion that is uh, hyperlapse or the time lapse for that you will have to download this application called as uh, uh, it's from Microsoft uh, uh, Corporation Limited. It's a hyperlapse uh, application, so you can find it for free uh, in the Play Store. So you can download it and you can record the videos in fast motion. Uh, so you can see a video sample now. you can double twist your wrist to turn the camera on as you can see and you can double twist it again to turn to shift it to a front facing camera so now you have three ways to capture pictures here you can tap in anywhere and it will capture the pictures for you and or else you can use the volume buttons uh, so it will act as a dedicated uh, uh, shutter button and uh, the third thing is if you want to take selfies and uh, uh, you don't want your hand to be displayed in the picture then what you can do is you can use any headphones uh, which has a button to take our end calls uh, i'll show you like so you can press the button and it will capture the pictures for you that's as easy as it can be right so uh, now the other thing is the other way to launch the camera application is you can launch it from the lock screen itself so you can uh, swipe from right to left and it will launch the camera for you uh, so you can do this uh, from the lock screen itself that's a good thing the other thing which Motorola has included is called the Moto Display. So, which will display the notifications or messages if you have any on the lock screen itself. So, it will not drain your battery and it's a quite handy feature according to me. Right. So, uh, apart from Moto Display and uh, Moto, uh, some gestures from Motorola, Motorola has also included something called as Assist. So, Moto Assist is uh, uh, something which triggers the activity and which indeed instructs uh, your phone like to perform some specific tasks so for example if you're sleeping yes if your sleep time is from 11 pm to 6 am then at that point of time it will turn the screen off and uh, it will only allow the priority interruptions which is a very good thing so currently it only supports meeting and sleeping so in meeting uh, if there are any missed calls then the phone will automatically uh, reply to them and uh, you can also personalize this message here so it's it says like i'm in a meeting i'll get back to you soon so you can also edit this and personalize according to your needs right so this is also quite handy feature now uh, we have uh, as i showed you the moto display the other option is you can uh, display the notifications uh, through ambient display also which is synonymous to moto display but the thing is uh, it will drain your battery and motor display is quite efficient in that case so what i would suggest is go with motor display and uh, ambient display is found on uh, many of the lollipop phones out there the other thing is uh, it also supports usb otg out of the box so you can connect your pen drives to expand the storage and i'll show you a demo of that now so uh, you can install any file explorer and uh, or else uh, if you have media files then you can open mx player directly and you can see it has detected the usb disk so click on this and you can view the video right so it's hey, what's up, guys? This a is very Martin, good thing deep. so now i'll show you how to take the screenshots so for that you have to press the power button and the volume down button at the same time and it will capture the picture for you 
and what you can do is you can access this uh, screenshot through notification tray now i'll show you uh, how to capture the screen uh, i mean to say how to record the screen so you have an application called az screen recorder which is available for free on the play store so you can uh, use this application to record the screen for example you have you have this widget kind of thing here so if you press on the red button it will start the record it will start the recording and uh, you can uh, control it from the notification tray uh, you can pause it stop it and uh, whatever if you want to make some tutorial then it will be definitely be helpful so you can go to multitasking tray you can go to uh, application tray and you can do whatever you want and it will display the same thing on the uh, screen recording so let's stop this now as you can see and we can dismiss this widget kind of thing by pressing the uh, last uh, arrow mark here that's it right so uh, screen recording and screen capture is uh, most important thing uh, which will be beneficial if you uh, if you're doing some tutorials and uh, some uh, things which will help other people on the YouTube right so now uh, what we'll do is we will go to settings and uh, we'll do one thing we'll just put this here right we'll go to settings and uh, let's see like how to save the battery so if you're running out of your battery then uh, android lollipop supports battery saver mode so you can go to settings and then battery and then you can hit this uh, extendable menu button at the top uh, right corner uh, you can hit that and you have the battery saver so if you turn it on you'll get this red accent saying that you have turned on the battery saver and it'll save you it'll uh, uh, remove the background applications and it will save you some uh, couple of hours of battery so which is a very good thing so now what we'll do is we'll go back and we will go to uh, accessibility and uh, we'll go to magnification gestures so what it'll do is it will magnify the screen for you so tap in three times and it will magnify the screen for you so you can use single finger to move between pages and uh, you can use two fingers to move uh, around in the same page so which is a very good thing and uh, to get back to normal mode uh, you have to tap in three times as you can see right uh, so let's turn it off for the moment and uh, you have you you can also use power button to end calls uh, so which is also available in the accessibility now let's see how to go to safe mode so you can press and hold the power button and uh, once you get the power off icon you can press and hold it and uh, as you can see if you uh, want to troubleshoot then you can go to safe mode so uh, what it says is it will disable all the third party applications uh, so to get back to normal mode what you can do is you can boot it normally right uh, so you'll get back to this normal mode so which is a very good thing so i believe i have covered most of the part uh, if you have enjoyed this video or if this video has helped you hit that like button and uh, for more videos like this subscribe to my channel and most importantly, thanks for watching.